So speaking of Measure E, so how much does Measure E bring in every year and what impact will that have on the budget? So the, the first year when it came in, it was around $57 million. Um, this upcoming year, we're projecting around $60 million. And I know that sounds like an obscene amount of money. It does. I mean, right. I can't even fathom what that would mean from a personal life. But when you're talking about a city of our size and of our age, the money goes really quickly um, and still doesn't provide adequate and restored services to the community. But it's, it's a lot um, of money. We've primarily been able to invest that in roads, street uh street sorry road maintenance um park maintenance i mean i know you've seen some of our parks in the past they got to a pretty poor state over the last few years so we've yeah. been able to reinvest in parks tree maintenance parkways landscaping start to restore our public service um our public safety our police and fire and restore youth and senior programming the first year of measure e alone they were able to get three million dollars and start to restore a lot of the hours that were cut from um, those programs before well, yeah, well, you know, we, we this, this, a lot of our citizens uh, fought for Measure E because yeah. we, we knew the importance of it. You know, you're always going to have your critics and they're always going to talk about why we shouldn't do this and that, but I thank God every day for Measure E, so. We do as well. I mean, our community deserves more than we can even give them at this point, but that is the way to get back to being able to restore the services. Yeah. And, and especially again, that Measure O is going away. Correct. So.